I'm the international full-time volunteer in this and my role is to organize different projects and events for different daycare centers. Young at Heart is an intergenerational project whose aims are to bridge the gap between young and old, achieving this by recreating young volunteers to take part in different kind of activities. As a volunteer I help out Lara that organises this arts and crafts on a Wednesday morning at this particular care centre. And I just help her out assisting the old people if they need help, and just making them feel comfortable. At the beginning it was, it was quite hard because not all of them can see very well or use their hands. You're kind of there to do things for them, like they can be the creative input. Attending the arts and crafts was something I haven't done before here anyway. And when you get home and sit and show people, so I can't believe you've done that. Like you feel kind of special. The most valuable things I've gained from the volunteering um, has been that it's changed the way I interact with older people. Also, I think that people tend to kind of brush off old people as not really being part of society or not really having an active role in society. When Really, when you spend time with them, you know, they have stories they want to tell, they have things they want to talk about, contributions they want to make. The Young at Heart project has been really, really successful with our service users because for a lot of them, they've got physical disabilities and they don't really have the opportunity to do things creative. And this is a great thing about, you know, giving them a space where they can make things do things. The majority of our people live by themselves, so other than coming to the day centre, they don't really have contact with other people. Not being able to see I, properly now, I, I miss that a lot. So nice when you're at home alone or anything like that, you do dwell on the things you can't do rather than the things that you can. So for that reason, you'd rather be with someone or a crowd or somebody rather than just thinking of you, the things that you are able to do and those that you are unable to. Young at Heart just offers them the opportunity to come to sit together in a group to have a chat to younger people and tell them about their experience and to see that there are younger people who are really interested in what they do. Oh really? You know, with um, ivy around yeah. and we put roses. One of the ladies used to be really creative and she made sort of these kind of things, which are little paper roses which is so delicately made and show me how to make those. We try to help the clients that we work with at the arts and crafts sessions by giving them a creative outlet and giving them contact with young people, which I think is, is really important for them because a lot of them don't see their families a lot um, and don't have communication with you know, young people with a lot of energy who want to hear their stories and things like that. And when I was working, I used to say I hate the students. But, look, but now that I'm older, I think that I don't mind. I think it's quite good, really. I think also making them feel comfortable is probably the most important thing you do when you help them. And when we first started, not that many people joined in because they assumed, you know, it's an arts and craft group and they were sitting there going, well, I've got arthritis, so I can't do it. So I think the attitude was kind of like, well, you can just come and sit and chat if you don't actually want to do it. And then slowly they began to join in. I used to do artwork for the school. I mean. You used to do artwork yeah. for the school? You enjoying it? 21, I'm okay. I enjoy it. Are you enjoying it now? You feel when I am in pain, I don't enjoy anything. Volunteering is one of those unique things that you can do that gives back to the community you're with, that allows you to connect to people that you otherwise wouldn't interact with and then yet simultaneously changes you as a person. And how many things in your life do you, do you get to say do that? I would definitely advise people to, be, to become young volunteers, definitely. Because uh, without sounding really uh, corny, it is actually one of the highlights of my week coming here. I really enjoy volunteering. It's nice to have the feeling to give things back to, to the community and to help and support them, especially the older people because some of them really need a lot of help and I would definitely recommend it to other people to volunteer. <laughs>